Good evening and welcome to Eagle Vision News. I'm Ashley Grams and this is your election update. All polls in the continental 48 states are closed. Hawaii and Alaska remain open. The swing states such as North Carolina, Ohio and Pennsylvania are too close to call. However, Joe Biden is ahead in the electoral college count. Earlier I met with Dr. Scott Waller, a professor of political science at Biola University, to hear his perspective on this election. The, the two competing campaigns represent two very fundamentally different visions of America. Um, on, the, mm -hmm. on the Democratic side, you, you hear a picture of America as a uh, place that needs desperate need of progress. Uh, on the other side, the Trump-Pence campaign would, would argue that we need to vote uh, in that direction because you know, that this is uh, the last best hope for human beings uh, the United States is, and that though our history is certainly not perfect, um, it is by far the, the, the greatest country in, in the history of human uh, politics. Waller said the working middle class will be the deciding vote in this election. Donald Trump's base is something very un-Republican in terms of traditional bases of the Republican Party. White working class people have generally supported Democratic candidates. It was very key to the Obama coalition in 2008 and 2012. And one of the keys, in fact, the key to Donald Trump's success and so you look at the polls right now and you see that, you know, Joe Biden is ahead. And in the 2016 election, it said, you know, Hillary Clinton was ahead. How trustworthy do you think these polls are right now? That's the giant question. If, if, these, if these mainstream polls turn out to be as wrong as they were in 2016, if, they, if they're as wrong in 2020, um, it's going to bring into serious prospect um, how expert these experts are. That some pollsters are indicating that Trump supporters are very res reticent to admit in, in public opinion polls that they're actually supportive of the president. And um, hmm. never before in, in, in all my days of tracking elections have I seen uh, supporters of a, of a sitting president be so hesitant to uh, publicly admit in any kind of way their support for the president. He also thinks the final debate will sway Generation Z voters. In the last debate, it, it became clear that there was a sharp divide the president uh, the president's message to the country in the second debate was that he's interested in opening things up sooner rather than later. And former Vice President Biden talked about a kind of dark winter that's coming upon us and, and, and uh, hinted very strongly about another possibility of another shutdown. If there is any demographic in the country not interested in another shutdown, it's, it's those young folks. Thank you so much for joining us on Eagle Vision News tonight. For election coverage, we will have more updates for you as votes are counted.